Good day everyone, I'm Angelica Camacho, the speaker for today. Before I start, I'll give you two questions to answer. Do you think the Philippines is ruled by law? Are the laws strictly executed and followed by all Filipino citizens? If your answer is yes and no, then you are right. The Philippines is ruled by law, but laws are not executed efficiently, so not all citizens obey the law. It is far from the small but developed country Singapore, which has a strict rule of law. Singaporeans obey their law as there are consequences for violating them. Because of that, their country and its citizens became safer, their economy blooms, and they have a good government. South Korea, Hong Kong, Japan, and Denmark are also included in the top 20 countries which ruled by law. Today, I am going to talk about the concept of the government of law and not by men. I have three main points for this topic. First, the law is the ruler. Second, the rule by law is the key to good governance. And third, how can avoid rule by men? Let's start first with the law is the ruler. The government exists to serve and protect the people, while law exists to guide the officers in decision making. Law is composed of sets of rules that indicates procedures and standards that maintain social order and peace on the state. It also includes providing the needs of the citizens, such as individual protection, rights, and liberty. Therefore, no one aside from the law is the ruler of the state. The government officials are only elected as they are needed to enforce the law and protect the people. They are in the government to enact implement and interpret law, and not to take over control and go above the law. They are also obliged to obey the law as citizens and are not prohibited from consequences when the rules of the law are violated. Now, why do you think citizens, including higher officials, should adhere to the rules of the law? The answer is that the rule by law is the key to good governance. The rule effectively is to develop progress on the state. The development begins from having a good government and that includes public officials effectively and efficiently implementing the laws. Strictly executed laws and disciplined citizens lead to country's prosperity. It plays a vital role in developing not only the politics but also the social economy and the other sectors of the state. That means that good government includes enacting good laws and being a good follower of these laws. Moreover, to avoid rule by men, the law or provisions for the separation of power must be executed efficiently. The 1987 Constitution of the Philippines has provisions for the separation of power and checks and balances on the three co-equal branches of the government. The provisions play a vital role in making sure that no one is above the law. Its primary objective is to separate to prohibit anyone from having an absolute power. That means that all government agencies are subject to comply with the provisions of the law and mainly exist to serve and protect the people and the state. It is also the same with the government officials who must adhere to the rules of the law and not use authority and power to go beyond the law. Now, the things I have mentioned are the importance of the law and the roles of the men in the government. It determines that the law is the ruler and the men are the implementer. It means that the government should be ruled by law through the act of men. With that, I'll leave you with the quote provided by Aristotle about politics. We must remember that good laws, if they are not obeyed, do not constitute good government. Therefore, if we wanted a safe country, an improved economy, and a good government, we must seek for the right leader who can influence its people to obey the law. Thank you for listening to my speech. Again, this is Angelica Camacho from BPA24.